Hello everyone and welcome to the latest video where we're going to be taking a look at two absolutely incredible underwater LiDAR scanning systems and seeing exactly how they work. But before we begin, I do want to mention with the release of the Buckle Hoodoo, I'm actually going to be revamping some of the OMA vehicle lineup because if you do know, currently they're all very outdated. They're the GTC series. So anyway, OMA will be getting new vehicles and most likely a new color scheme, just like you're seeing here. Now, on to the next part, which is the major part of this video. I had two users reach out to me on, through my Discord, so if you're not on my Discord, make sure you join. The community we have here is amazing, and everyone kind of works together and collaborates. It's really cool. So, uh, if you may know from my last video, or one of my previous videos where I talked about the underwater scanners and the scanner that I developed and then later on when I was showcasing some of the cool creations I've inspired and user white you reached out to me and pretty much worked with me to develop this incredible microcontroller that is based off the one that I sort of worked out but it works much better and you guys will see, it's updated from the last time I showcased it and now it's working flawlessly. So I'm super excited to show this and install it on all my vessels because this is exactly what I had in mind when I sort of started developing this system that actually originated by user Quinton. So his creation's also in the link below. Uh, so it's been a multi-phase process, starting with Quinton, then I kind of took it and worked it out and developed some new features like the forward motion option. And then the user White EU went ahead and made it that much better than mine pretty much from the ground up remade it. So we'll be showcasing that. And that's actually where Ruinfant's ocean scanner comes in here, which you see on my Discord server. So he said that he was inspired by the shipwreck finder and created a 3d version with the render so um i watched this video i opened it up and it works really cool and actually what is even more amazing is since he posted it on my discord and kind of we talked about it in there his creation actually made it to the home page of the stormworks workshop as you can see here it's the very first creation and like by all means well worth it well deserved it works really cool and it does something that i mean yeah it just g great work great work bud so the user ruinfant on discord or kenny powers on steam has created this 3d scanner and that happened sort of just in parallel and without really me knowing at all because for the last little while i've actually been working with white eu and he's been perfecting his system that we have here. So if we turn on the active laser scanning, it looks like this. And then if you press the button, just like I had it before, you actually start your motion scanning. But we're gonna get to that as we approach our shipwreck here. So um, what I do want to mention is when we were going through our brainstorming and White E was telling me of all the capabilities and things that he envisions for his LiDAR scanner, he actually mentioned that he would like to make a 3D version. Uh, except obviously that first of all takes time, but also it takes up space and the code is only so much. And I was saying that my priority for OMA, just because... Uh, you tend to be sh searching for shipwrecks. My priority was to have the motion scanning. So he ob obliged and actually went ahead and made a very amazing motion scanning system. So you're gonna see it, how it works in motion, obviously. Um, and then we'll be testing out Kenny Powers 3D scanning and how that all works. So we'll fast forward until we get to the shipwreck. So as we approach the shipwreck, I do want to turn on this and then if we look down here you could actually see that four buttons have been added down here in white EU's controller and then when you turn this on you could actually pause it which previously you couldn't and that was something I requested because for example right now we don't need it running but now we can turn it on 
and we make sure it runs and we're going 30 knots mind you so we're going as fast as this little boat goes right over the shipwreck to see how it scans when you're going at that speed now obviously that is pretty fast and we're going to get some data tearing but let's just see what exactly it shows us is beneath us so we went over the shipwreck and as you can see it gets some kind of distortion but if we pause it now I do want to mention that you still can see there's a rough shape obviously we f we flew over it we went as fast as we could so it's uh very condensed like squished on the top but that's because we just went that fast now we're going to turn around and this is also why I wanted the resume button because or the pause and resume because when you're turning you just get a bunch of weird data so now we're going about half the speed 60 knots let's resume this and make our way over the shipwreck at 60 knots so here we have it we're actually going right over it so 60 and 70 knots and it created a much better image in a sense that it collected more data it actually got the ship as a whole instead of kind of being squeezed now we'll hit pause turn around again and let's go even slower this time we'll resume it and go maybe 10 knots and obviously if you turn you are kind of ruining the data so keep that in mind when you're using this but here we have it and if we take a look underneath us the lasers are scanning there's two of them working very efficiently and then if we jump up back here So I'd say 10 knots is about the speed you want to go, but even going 30 knots, you're able to, to find out that there was something beneath you. And that was kind of the key. Because the way I saw it is maybe you don't have all day to go 10, 10 knots. So instead, if you just go like 30, top speed, fly over the area until you find where it is, then you can make your way back to it and do the more detailed scanning. So. We're just going to make our way back and see the resume button just doesn't create any weird data. We're going to try to stop right over the waypoint. And obviously because we have kind of the photo mode, we're not doing career mode. I have the luxury of just taking a look and we see that we're right over top of the shipwreck. So we'll make sure we're stopped. Turn this button off and now hit fast. And that's going to just create a super fast image of what's beneath us. And even this has the magnitude adjustment, so you could kind of bring out details. But now, we have nor narrow, normal, and wide. So the difference is fast is just like this. If you see the lasers, they just dance super fast and create your image. Narrow will only have a narrow field of view. So if we go down to our ship, it's actually going to create the most detail out of this ship. But it's a very detailed and zoomed in image. So if we jump back here, you'll actually see that it's only really scanning the hold area. So it's, it's more zoomed in. It's narrow and it's more zoomed in to the specific point where we're interested in. And you could even see the details of that opening down there. It may be a funnel opening to be honest, is what we scanned if I jump back here. Because you could even see the circle and if you bring this in or out you could kind of get a different magnitude of what the data is that you scanned then normal is sort of covering a fairly wide range so it'll obviously be less detailed but it'll still give you now a overall picture of what's beneath you so if we jump back up here you can now see that it's actually creating sort of a more wide range view of the ship. So no longer you see, you don't see the funnel as detailed, but now you see the whole shape. And then if you hit wide, it just scans a very large surface area. Now also note that the reason it's not called zoom, I presume, is because wide and narrow also depends on the field of 
or the depth of whatever it is you're scanning because if you take a look at this you actually have it at a fairly you know medium depth it's not very shallow but it's also not super deep so then wide you actually scan the whole ship so there you have it you see the funnel that's broken off on the side if you zoom and pull the magnitude in you get now a better feeling for the mast and the general shape and arrangement and layout of the ship keep going and now you actually see the way the land is formed around it so like if the fact that it's a bit on a hill you see that area you actually see that now with the magnitude so i'd say that this is exactly what oma needs my theory is to put this on all of the vessels that are oma to put this on um tow fishes as well as rovs just because this is like your kind of basic underwater scanning well the micro control is not basic but the capability to do this is for a uh, ocean oceanic organization it is key to be able to scan and find out what's beneath you without actually having to send divers and then of course you send them when you want and you have a good feeling of what you're looking at so that was white use updated controller it's actually live on this boat the omatalis link is below so now not only do we have this cool stuff we have our towfish with the camera so there's a bunch of little features in this tiny boat thanks to white eu um amazing work honestly amazing work thank you for reaching out for pretty much volunteering your time to make something that was catered to what i want oma to have i really really appreciate it and fantastic job now loading ruinfant's creation this is what it looks like when you spawn it it has this kind of topographic feature and it has the camera or the lighter mounted on this pivot on this system here and you could actually turn this on and then you see this is a grid you have this and you can now scan the whole thing and if we just watch what it's doing it's going and sort of starting over there with the front and making its way over the topographic feature here. So if we jump to our screen, this is what we're getting now. And it's actually creating this 3D image as it goes. So here on the left side, it has a 2D version of what it sees. And on the left side, it'll get a 3D image of what it sees. So once the scan is done here, we could actually take this and move it up and down. And the coolest part is it can actually be rotated to get you an idea of how the system works. So you see that little bump there and that little bump over there. When you come over here, you can now see that how they're oriented. Now one of the other cool things is you could actually position the laser where you want and presumably then it'll actually scan that area and this resets it so you can put it out like that and it'll actually create a scan of that area instead of where it aligns perfectly in a downward position so let's actually go and give this a test on the boat now if i like how this system works on the rsv lipoa i may actually end up creating a version that has the scanner as part of the vessel and that way you know you have different capabilities with different vessels that's always a good thing to have so here we have this on the back and we'll make our way over to the shipwreck but before we do i just want to do a quick test that this does in fact work we'll go down here and confirmed that it, the laser is working and it is scanning so great now it's only scanning flat so we'll go now and scan the shipwreck so here we have it the rfv lipoa we're off to the shipwreck scanning and we'll get a feeling of what this amazing microcontroller can do with the shipwreck so follow along now i do have to mention that once the screens are off 
my computer at least start, stopped lagging as much, so it is a demanding microcontroller. You can see that there's two displays, and or two wide, two massive displays, one small display. So it is uh, an intensive software, but it also creates a 3D rendering. So who am I to say anything? But I'm super excited to get it started and scanning the shipwreck. One other thing that's really cool is that is that Kenny Powers himself said that he envisions some revisions of this uh, microcontroller including adding sort of a motion sweeping system like what we developed what I developed with white U where you'd actually drive and it would scan the seabed and several other things including having a, a positioning system for any sub or ROV that it shows up on the display now that's actually kind of neat because um, as you may know, I'm a fan of Clive Cussler and his novels, and there's actually one uh, device that they use in one of the novels that they use uh, a 3D scanning thing like this, and it actually shows all the mini subs, it shows everything underwater. So I'd be curious if that's where the inspiration came from, if it's an, or if it's an actual uh, system that is in existence. Anyway, here we are over the shipwreck. So I'm just going to make sure we're stopped right over it for optimal... Oh. We overshot it. Use our little side propellers, thrusters to rotate around. And once we're in position, we will start the scanning process and see how this shipwreck looks with 3D function. So I'm super excited. This is my first test, so hopefully it goes well. Okay, there we go. We have the brakes. We're stopping. Alrighty. Shut the power down, we don't need the ship on anymore, but we do need this. So, let's start this up. Now, presumably, it's right in the center. Or I just press this and it scans everything, but let's give it a shot. So look at that, that's super cool. On the side here, it's going like, scanning the topography pretty well. Or very well, actually. Now, I wonder if I could spin this while it's scanning. I can. Interesting. And there we have the ship. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool actually. So yeah, I would love to put this on a boat like this. So it has different systems. Now, we do see there's clearly a ship there. So if we just go beneath us for reference, it looks like this. And you see the topography, it's scanned over there. But, yeah, you see the funnel there. You see the outline of the ship, the hole in the hull. And you get a nice 3D image. Obviously, in certain instances, the nodes are just too much, like the points you can kind of see, but... And obviously, we only scanned it in one direction or one dimension, and it just used that to interpolate the uh, size of things. But super cool. Wow. Now, if I press this... Does it scan a more detailed version of that? Now, one of the issues I could see, it seems that it is more detailed, so look at that. The points are getting more defined. But because the boat is kind of bobbing left and right, and it's even listing the way it's sitting right now, probably because of my weight or because the, the screens are off-center, um, if your boat does move, obviously the program can't take into that account i imagine so it just would end up losing the data but there we have it we actually ended up with a more detailed scan of that region wonder if we could do it for this too so i imagine if you go and you just uh you can end up with detailed scans of everything you can see it kind of re-rendering these data points there And because we moved or tilted, you could see that it's now rewriting the data a little bit differently. So you would need a fairly stable vessel for this. But yeah, this is very fun to play with and do. So great controller, both of you, um, White EU and Kenny Powers, because both of these creations are doing exactly what I love for the research sort of side of things and the exploration side of things. 
So I thank you guys both so much. Um, keep the creations like this coming. It's, it's amazing to see the programs that can be written in the game that can just add to the gameplay that much. It's crazy to see. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you both download these guys' creations and give them a like or a comment or some kudos or a virtual pat on the back because they outdid themselves. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more and as always, happy stormworksing.